<sighs> we got it all plugged in. Do, do we? Do we have everything plugged in? Uh, so cool. We have everything plugged in. Mm -hmm. Now is the moment of truth. We hit the power button and see, and see if all of our hard work has been worth it. Uh -huh. What's up everybody? I'm here with Kim today from UIA Solutions out of Utah. We're going to do something really, really cool today. They hit us up. Hey, seems like you guys could use some server help, which is true. I'm going to build you a, a file server, but it's a special kind of file server. You have an increased bandwidth and you can kind of scale it up infinitely. So your bottleneck no longer becomes the server. It becomes your workstations and the storage on the server. You can go as fast as you want. The original reason I reached out to Corridor was because, as I saw last fall, their raid failed. Yeah, our it raid failed. It failed and the, the server lets us utilize 10 gig. Let's say a 100 gig file will take X amount of time will be 10 times faster. What, what I envision is to use that as the primary storage and yeah. this as your yeah. backup. backup. Mm -hmm. That's great. Does that mean I can stop deleting Sam and Nico footage? Uh... Did you film that in slow motion? No. Or no. What, okay, what's up with all that, that thermal packaging over on the other one? Because right. that's about 70 pounds and this is about like 30. Oh! <laughs> wow! I don't know about you, but this doesn't know. look like I mean, a table that can support 70 pounds. Yeah. Always, always building the building. See, and I thought today would be all about technology and computers. No. Nope. Instead, we have to do manual labor. So now, we need to put the server on. You think this is a two-man operation here? I'm insisting. I'm trying to save your back. This is fucking Spencer we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I have to carry around 200 pounds everywhere I go. <laughs> 70 extra is nothing. <laughs> Try to get them together. Dang. This now let's see. Uh, if you ask. Uh, oh, it's so hard. Oh. Oh. So what is that? This is a hot swappable power supply. There are certain certain brands that require you to have their specific brands connection cables. So for here, for, for here example, we have an HP. HP. And no, so switch. HP is requiring you to have the HP cable or what's it called? Um, the the SFP. Pop. The SFP. Otherwise, what happens? It doesn't work. It it essentially it could it can either a turn off your switch, disable all the ports, or just not work in general. Hot swappable power supplies. So really here's efficient. both of them. Mm -hmm. They're really efficient. Look how small these are. There's 350 watts for this and one. It's a platinum. Now is the moment of truth. We hit the power button and see, and see if all of our hard work has been worth it. Uh -huh. Whoa. Whoa. Look, it's Carmichael. Oh my god. Listen oh my to god. those fans. Oh my god. What's going on? Skynet! 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 Skynet. Oh, wow. I think that's a great idea. Kim, you just made us so legit. So UIA and Kim came along and they mm -hmm. said, hey, we can probably provide a solution to you guys that allows you to scale as you grow do this already for small businesses, big businesses, across the world and nationwide. Did that work? <laughs> I wear flip-flops in the office because that's just how I roll. Uh, and Ren wears his one wheel in the office because that's literally just how he rolls. And whenever he's rolling by me, I'm always worried about my toes. So I made a rule, and that is anytime I hear the one wheel hit the ground hard, usually meaning somebody fell off, they put a dollar in the beer jar. Lewis, the guy who actually made this, we decided to take one of our Nerf darts, we're all signing it, and we're going to mail it to him. Hopefully it'll fit in like an envelope. So many people said that they made that gun, but the thing is, guys, we knew who it was immediately. You just tell. You just tell. He also sent us an email with pictures. <laughs> There's that. <laughs> Last week, I got an email from a company called Sumo. And Sumo makes large, luxurious, beanbag chairs slash couches slash beds, I guess. They're huge. They're like beanbags for giants. But my understanding is that it's all tightly packed together. And when you open this, the thing will breathe life into itself and expand into the size of a giant beanbag chair. And we're gonna watch it expand and then we're gonna sit on it and see if it's soft. Here we go. <laughs> it's a, uh, so it's a bunch of foam pellets and they're all compacted down in a vacuum. <laughs> As air gets into this, they expand. Come on. I gotta open it now before it expands too much and I can't open it anymore. Come on, zipper. <laughs> Come on. Come on, you can do it. There's no going back. I think I got plastic stuck in it too. Uh-oh. I punctured the plastic. No! <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just, I'm pulling the zipper so hard I'm moving my stuff. <laughs> Come on, Nico. I'm trying. There we go. <laughs> way harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> so much plastic jammed up in this guy. And he right now would be locking this. Alright, come on. Oh no. <laughs> There's so much plastic gummed up in the zipper. No! This is a bad idea. I should not be getting this. There's no way I can get this zipper unstuck. Fuck. I fucked this up so hard. What am I gonna do? I'm trying to just jam this zipper open by hitting it with the hammer. getting there. Uh, good choices make bad stories. Hey! Got it! Oh man. Look at which plastic I have stuck in the zipper. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right. Let's get it. It's expanding so fast. Oh, it's soft. Bean bags are really comfy and really soft. This one is not full yet. It's a little lumpy right now. <laughs> uh, I look forward to it being fully inflated. <laughs> Pull it the other way, quick. And then repeat that process. No. Wiggle it.